Hey folks, welcome back. Rob here. So we're going to be carrying on with ASL scenario number 2A4, Crisis at Castrain Pass, and currently we're going to be into the German turn 2. So uh, turn 1 was basically getting things in motion. I started all my forces in or inside these uh, wadis, and I'm basically making a big push. All my Germans are now ready to step into the minefield, and they hope to clear them at the end of the close combat phase if I can roll... Uh, a modified snake eyes or less. So uh, to aid that, I've created this smoke screen barrage from my 100 millimeter, and um, it's doing a good job. But hopefully the wind doesn't change, and I'll be able to continue using it. Um, damage wise, it's not looking too bad uh, for the Germans right now. I've taken out a Grant tank and one of their uh, their half tracks. So uh, I'm sitting at 12 there's a victory points and remember the conditions that the allies have to uh, earn 25 or more casualty DVP from the Axis and um, it will deny me the victory <clears throat> if they have 25 or more than I. So uh, again the conditions are I must control two of these three hilltops and I must exit 30 DVP off the north edge, off those two arrows. So uh, 11 and a half turns, not a lot of time. I do have to get to the base of the hill. I figure by turn 6, maybe turn 7, and that gives me 5 turns to fight over the hill and make it off. So we're going to see how that goes. All right, so let's get going. The first thing we'll do is our wind change die roll. And I just rolled gusts. So I'm going to do 100 dies. And uh, just to average out the die rolls, just like I did before. Uh, again, this is the probably not going to work with the dice bot, but in my own psyche, it makes sense to uh, run this on the dice. All right, so what are we looking at here? So this is our distribution. Looks like we have a lot of eights threes uh it's fairly even the way it, it should be there's a high number of threes and fours which is uh, okay for the germans not so good for the uh, americans i guess but it looks to be like a more traditional bell curve all right so now that that uh is done we can um carry on with the actual rolling of the first turn all right so this is going to be the wind change die roll better not be box cars all right, nine. So we have no impact on the wind. I have no reinforcements to set up. And we'll get into rallies. Now, we have a Italian rally here. And I got a broken machine gun. So that's not too bad. So let's do you. Now, obviously, no rally terrain. So you're going to need really no number. Not that. Uh, not surprisingly, you failed. Uh, this is concerning because this is a... Um, US 100 millimeter um, OVA and he's just landed a spot around all my units so I got to be aware of that and I'm gonna have to move get the hell away from that uh, FFE which no doubt he's gonna convert in place and then we have an Italian tank which uh, we need a one to repair the coax nope alright so uh, nothing on the German side on the American side I could take this off I may as well. I'm not in sight. And the um, uh, another engineer unit up here again. You're just going to go back into. I managed to tag this guy as he was leaving the foxhole. So that was pretty cool, I thought. Um. So that's it for the rally phase. Unfortunately, not enough is broken. Now we go into the prep fire. So the first thing is, is we got to look at our smoke. And we flip all our white to um, a plus two. And then we remove one of our smoke uh, grenade um, counters. So this one's going to be a bit confusing. So you're gone. Uh, you're gone. You're gone. You 
you a smoke source here. So one, two, a smoke source here, one, two. So you're gone, <clears throat> as are you. You're gone, and so are you. All right, so now you get flipped. As do you. All right, so all of our smoke is now flipped over to two, and we've lost one of the smoke counters. Now the question I have to, or the, the tactic I have to consider is, do I bring down another barrage? Now, these guys are going to move in, which means in the turn three German prep fire, all the smoke is going to disappear. Um, and I anticipate still being in the minefield. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in another barrage um, of smoke. But before that, I do have a mortar here that I could fire smoke on. Nope, he's out of smoke. Uh, what can I fire? I do have you and you. However, you guys are targeting units, so I don't know if I want to waste smoke on that. Um, I do have you. You're firing HE area at that half track. So I don't think I'm going to have any ordnance smoke. Smoke 7, eh? Um, I think this smoke is going to disappear. Now, that's probably going to be a bad thing because the... Um, I'm going to be exposed um, moving up and such. Uh, I do have smoke with you. You are facing this way, so I could forgo this. Um, or I could just drop, use the acquisition to help with the smoke. Again, my depletion number is only 7. I believe eight um, and that would smoke off these three hexes here including you which lets me get a little bit closer although I do have to worry about this half track what if I fire it into this location here oh yeah pins pins would have come off let's get rid of those um, Yeah, I think I have to do that. I have to smoke off the... Uh, I could also smoke off the mortars up here in the hills. They are kind of ranged in on my Italians, but um, I'm hoping to move out of that. So, question for you. Yeah, let's get rid of that. And I'll attempt to pop smoke into G6. Alright, 13 hex range. So we are looking at a base 8. Muzzle velocity brings it down to a 7. We want to fire smoke, no effect. And uh, we have... Uh, 2 for the mist. So we're going to need a 5 or less to actually hit that hex with smoke. So here we go. All right, <laughs> what a waste. I wasted a critical, so I got a critical hit on smoke. Now, unfortunately, I'm all done, so I have to uh, mark you off. And we do have a smoke round in here, strength of three. Now, that'll drift in as dispersed in the advancing fire phase. All right, now we can do OBA, so I need battery access. Um, uh, the rocket one's all done, so let's just get rid of that.
All right, and um, let's go to here. So we need a block chit. All right, so we have black, that's great. And we have access. So we always have contact because we're off board and we have access. And we're going to continue our fire mission. So flip this over to an FFE1. And we'll drop more smoke. So you, 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 and you. I'm going to clone you. Flip you to strength uh, two. One, two, one, two. And then I'm going to clone you again. And you'll sit in this. So this is so much smoke, it's going to get almost impossible to uh, <laughs> see through that, which is the point. We don't want the... Um... Oh, I forgot you. We don't want the Americans to be able to see our Germans in the... Um in the minefield. Uh, so now we can do regular shooting. Now, um, yeah, see I'm ranged in to this guy here. If I move here, it's gonna be moving in open. So I wonder, do I just take a shot at the half track? It is crew exposed. And I believe it is a plus three, yeah, plus three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One for missed and leadership cancel. So we have a plus three on the four table. That's really not good. Uh, you guys are in motion, they're gonna move. Uh, let's start with you. All right, so you have ranged in there, so you're gonna fire HE. And let's drop one onto you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plus one for the wreck, plus one for mist. A uh, total of plus three for the crag with a minus one for acquisition. So it's going to be plus two. And that's an Italians. Italians use red numbers. So it's going to be a base six. Uh, a four less is what I need. Now that's a 47. Nothing applies. So, um, yeah. Not the greatest, <clears throat> four less. Um, six or less, my mistake. Six or less to hit. Um, not a hit. Flip that over, prep. Uh, you are ranged in over here, so... Um, Let's try a shot. So that is 17 hexes away, which means we're going to need um, base 5, uh, 2 for mist. Two for the entrenchment is a plus four, and we have minus one acquisition is a plus three. So again, I'm going to need a super high roll. Uh, I do have rate, so I could try again. This is now acquired twice, which would mean it should be a three or less to hit. No, and uh, done. Uh, you... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty hexes away firing area. Uh, we are at a base eight. Muzzle velocity brings it down to a seven. We have one, two, three uh, for mist. and minus one for acquisition so we need a plus two so five or less to hit uh that's going to be a hit and it's going to be a rate it's also going to be the um american sniper all right so this will be on the uh eight table eight on the eight's an nmc 
Now we're going to add a plus two for these guys. They're actually concealed, so that should have been factored in. Um, you're not going to be impacted. You guys will be at a plus two. Uh, no, you guys will be at a morale check, so that'll be gone. You have to take an NMC, which you pass. Uh, the 337 is pinned. And the vehicle itself. Now, that was an 8. 8 on the 8 is going to be no effect versus the vehicle. And as we said, the units inside the trench will not be impacted. So I have rates. So now it's going to be a plus three for mist. Uh, I should have added the plus two for concealment as a total of plus five, but it's down two now for acquisition. So I need a four or less to hit. All right. And that is my last shot. What else can I shoot? Let's do the heavy weapons first. Now you are firing area at this half track up here. All right, that's an 18 hex range. Uh, how much smoke do we go through? None. All right, so we have no smoke. 18 hex range is going to be a base of eight. Uh, excuse me, uh, yeah, eight. Small target size will bring it down to seven. Mist will bring that down to a five. Um, muzzle velocity will bring that down to a four. And acquired will bring that up to a five. So five or less to hit. Wait, wait, wait. I'm firing on the area. Uh, eight. Base number comes down to a seven. All right, so we have a base seven. Then we have a small target size for one. We have two for misses for a total of plus three. And we have acquired for a total of plus two. So it'll be a five or less to hit. All right, so that's a hit. No rate, and um, yeah, so now we're going to have that result on the IFT. Now that is a 150, so it's going to be on the 12 table, and uh, if I roll low enough because it's got zero modifier, I, I might actually be able to kill it. Um, now, would that be HE to kill? It is an armored target. Uh, halved would be uh, on the 70. So it would be a base 7. That is a hull hit, and it should be a base Seven. I believe I'm doing that correctly. All right, so let's fire um, this. All right, so that's going to be a wreck, not going to be a flame. Again, I'm pretty sure I did that correctly. Uh, all right, so... That is a armored half track worth five DVP, so we're up to 17 already. Uh, let's clone you. Let's send you to the casualty bin. And we can get rid of that, we don't need it. Um, Get rid of the hull down. We don't need that. You are going to sit here in this location. I 
I forgot to add these to the uh, casualty bins, so we're just going to do that now. All right, so that was pretty good shooting for that, um, for the SIG there. I haven't run out of ammo yet. That's pretty good. Now, you guys, um, do you have a target? I could take a Hail Mary. This would be a level one. So that's a level two smoke. He's on a level one, two, two hill. So it would be firing through the smoke. So it's going to be a plus two. And he's going to be hauled down. Um, it's not going to be a good shot. Do I move him? I would really like to take out that half track. I'm not doing too bad of a job taking out the armor. Again, I've immobilized the Grant. I've eliminated another one. Now he's down two of the armored half tracks with the 75. I do have to worry about this guy right here. So this guy would pay plus one, probably plus two. Maybe clip the smoke. I can't use that. I'm going to have to use you to take him out. I have no target for this guy. All right. <clears throat> Quench the thirst. Um... I don't think I have a target, so I'm just going to wait. Although I could fire HD up here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 27 hexes. Um, plus 1, 2, 3, plus 4. The base number of 4. I'm already looking at a 0. Uh, plus two for the thing. It's going to be minus two. There's no way I could hit unless I fire area, and then maybe that would be on the four table resolved. So that is a waste of a shot, but I don't have any other targets. Uh, that's fine. You're going to stay. You, my friend, are going to target this guy right there. All right, so... Uh, you would have missed the brush anyways. I think there is no smoke impacting your shot. Yeah, no smoke. All right, so we had a range of 19, just one hex, one hex too far. All right, so we're looking at a base 7. We have an L weapon, which brings it up to a base 8. Now, we have a plus 1 for small target size. Um, we have 1, 2, 3 for the miss is a total of plus 4. So I'm going to need a 3 or less to hit, and it has to be a turret hit. So 3 or less to hit must be a turret hit. That is rate. So we have acquisition. Uh, but it missed. So now we would need a 4 or less to, uh, to hit. No. All right, so we've acquired twice. And hopefully we'll tag it on our next shot. Uh, you are firing on these guys here. I think I was fire targeting the half track. Although I could fire HE.
I could fire HE at the squads because they have dismantled 50. There's also one inside the entrenchment. Um, or I could take out the half track because this crew will mount up in the next turn. Now, how far away are we? Twenty hexes, eh? Twenty hexes. We have uh, a base seven. Hey, wardrobe, how's it going? How's your Sunday panning out? Uh, we have a base seven. We have an L weapon, which brings it up to a base eight. Now we have a small target size is plus one, which cancels out the acquisition. Uh, wait, no, wait, that's a minus one. So let's do this properly. We are plus one, two, three for missed, four for small target is a total of plus four. However, we've acquired twice, which will bring it down to a plus two, which means our base eight goes down to a six or less I need to hit. And I also maintained rate. So I did hit the vehicle. That is a turret hit, which is the important thing because, again, uh, actually, no, that's in brush hex, so it's not even uh, not even hull down, so it wouldn't have mattered. Um, all right, well, that thing is dead. So uh, what do we need to kill? Now, that is a turret hit. The turret is up armored, so it's going to be a one. However, it is a... Um, 88 long is going to give us a oh awesome you play D&D as well nice nice what uh, what edition are you guys playing I assume it's edition 5 88 long is a base 20 that's going to bring it down to a 19 uh, range wise we have a minus 1 so that will bring it down another minus 1 so it's going to be a, a base 18 so a 9 or less will be a flame, and a 12 will be a dud. <laughs> that's, two, that's two snake eyes in a row. All right, so that's gone. That's gone. Um, the crew has lived, so that should be a 3. And we'll send it as a wreck smoking to the casualty bin. All right, so uh, you've acquired there. Now I can always switch fire to the units underground. However, because I've just uh, done smoke, that would be a... Uh, Wait, that would come up later. Let's add the blaze, and then um, we'll drop the flame in the advancing foot or uh, disperse mode. Original dragon lance, nice, very nice, very nice. Yeah, my son is well into fifth edition. He's actually started DMing. Um, I I I think I got him all started. Him and my other son. Uh, we, I had them playing, I think when they were 12 or 13 onwards, so I was using first edition rules, um, I, which I really preferred to the fifth, you know, having <laughs> whatever, <laughs> yeah, I'm much more keen to use the, uh, the first edition or any one of those variants than fifth, but he's well into the fifth and he's doing his own campaign, so. Uh, all right, so I did maintain rate. And uh, I do have the infantry that I could fire at right now. There's going to be a plus two for smoke in the hex, as well as a plus one for the wreck, for a total of plus three. Um, and we had a uh, base five. Gun brings it up to a six. We have three for mist, brings it down to a, a three. 
Um, two for the foxhole. I'm not going to be able to hit the guys in the foxhole. Plus two for smoke, bring it down to a one, and the wreck would bring it down to a zero. However, I've acquired twice, which means I need a snake eyes or less, and it's going to be a roll off to see if it's critical. All right, let's do, maybe I can get lucky and get another, well, that ain't it. All right, so you failed to hit the, um, the units there. Good effort, though. Two snake eyes for uh, to kill shots. That's pretty damn good, I think. Now that is the ordinance. Uh, you fired as well. You have no target. And let's do their shooting. Now that's ridiculous. Your job was to take that out, but it's already done for you so you're gonna move you're gonna move everybody here is gonna move I cannot stay in location however if I move this guy he's gonna get blasted when I move open it will be a one two three four five six so he's gonna have uh, a down two if I use non assault or a down one and the 75 is on the 12 table so If I move this way, I could move back into the gully or the wadi, but uh, I don't think it's going to work. I'm really tempted to fire on this crew exposed um, half track. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's going to be a plus one target. Um, plus three for the gun shield is plus four. With a minus one leader is going to be a net plus three on the four table. Four up three, is that even doable? Four up three, uh, four would get me a penny. No, I think I have to move them. It's just not going to work. Not going to work too much. Uh, the plus three for the uh, covered turret is just too much to get through. All right, you're going to move. Everybody here is going to move. Get away from the FFE. You guys are now going to enter the minefield. So let's do you for shooting. Do you have a target? Uh, you're going to clip this. I have a strong feeling you're going to clip this, so I'm going to have to use you. So let's fire a two up two shot into there. Uh, eight on the two is going to be a miss. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That would be, if I fire everything, it would be a six up two shot. But I would stay in range of that. I can't do that. I got to fire this. No, I act for you. Yes, let's do that. All right. So um, one, two, three, four, five, six hexes away. Uh, does not hit any smoke or obstacles. So it's going to be. Just a plus two on the 12. 12 up two. This is where it would be nice to get a nice low roll. An eight on the 12 should be a one check. Uh, yes, one check on the three, three, seven, which must fail. All right, now they have an ELR of three. So seven becomes a six. Six up three is a nine, and you'll have enough. So you're just going to be broken. All right. Now, I do have rate on the heavy, um, but I don't think I'm going to fire again. I do not want this unit coming back. So you guys are done. Now I have to kill this thing here. So let's start with... 
Let's start with you. Uh, I'm really tempted <laughs> to drive into this minefield. Now, the problem with that, of course, is the AT mines. So this is a 50% chance of being attacked, going in and going out. So the Italian does not feel super lucky. If it worked, however, I would have an automatic trail break all the way through. Um, more than likely, it would fail killing the tank. So we'll see what it's like. If I mouth my CMG again, I think I will do that. Um, you, eh? Now, if I fire the gun... If I fire the gun on the Italian onto this location, that will be button up plus one, wreck is plus two, and the entrenchment is a total plus four, so they use red numbers. I believe it's a base eight. Yes, eight up four, so I need a four less to hit with the main gun. That is not good. And then I need a four firepower MG with a plus four. Yeah. All right, so you're done. Troops will have to move in cautiously. You are going to do the same. You're going to fire on this guy here. Now, you do not clip this vehicle, which is great. However, uh, I don't think you even hit the wreck. Uh, yes, you do, right down the hex spine. So there will be a plus one, plus three total. Buttoned up is plus four. So again, you're going to need a four or less to hit. That is not good. All right, now I have to kill you before I can move. This would be on the eight up. Uh, eight up to... Eight up one. This would be eight up one. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so you're going to fire eight up one into that half squad. Nine on the eight is going to be a pinning task check. I forgot to do a American sniper, which I just did. All right, so this is from an earlier shot. So a sniper was no joy, and uh, that was an American roll, so I don't roll for sniper. Um, I guess I may as well fire you guys. So that's going to be on the eight table up two into that location. And you, my friend. Um, you are going to hit the Italian vehicle. You are not going to hit the wreck. So you're going to be at a plus one for the Italian, plus three on the 12 table. 12 up three. My luck has run out. Nine on the 12 should be a NMC. Yes, we have an NMC for this dude here. Yes. All right, so he's broken. And therefore, I am now free to move in. And we're going to go right to the movement phase. I think I'm done for shooting anyways. Um, let's do the Italians first, then we'll deal with... The, the Germans. All right, so first of all, you, you're going to assault move in to J7. Uh, you're going to um, defense a first fire on the 8. 
uh, up one. All right, so you coward. Uh, your second line, that's fine. So that's going to be on the uh, six column half would be three, so there's going to be two residual in that location, which is phenomenal. Uh, you're going to come here. Now, can anything hit you? Um, mortar is going to be firing through smoke. You're going to be firing through smoke. I don't think you're going to be able to. So if I go one and then into the smoke for, uh, oh wait, that would be, uh, plus three. I wouldn't have enough. I'd have to come into... No, I can't even go there. So I'm I'm pretty well stuck there because I don't have the move. All right, you, my friend, are going to move. How am I going to move you? Go to A10. I could assault move to Y10. That would only be a minus one from you. And from you, that would be on the two... One, two, three, four, five, six. That would be on the two down one. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You would be on the no, that would um the base six. So you would be at a seven. Uh what is my plan here with you? I could move to AA10. I think that would be a smarter move. So let's go to AA10. Now, can anything hit me from the American side? I do have you. However, you got a nice shot for this. I think that's where you're going to fire. Uh, actually, that would have followed you. Yeah, all right, so that's fine. We'll, we'll do that. Now, um, the only... One, two, three, four, five, six. That sucks. All right, so we have a red eight. We have acquired once, and we have uh, non-assault, or excuse me, moving it open, which will give it a eight or less to hit. Oof. Eight or less to hit. All right, so that's uh, super fantastico. Um, all right, you're gone. Wow, I'm rolling shit for the Americans. Other moves that we have, and now we can move almost freely. So you're going to come up here. You'll come up this way for one. Um, now this would be a minus one to hit, but there would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. There's going to be three for the mist. Uh, excuse me, two. Plus two for the mist, minus one for moving an open. Uh, you would not have any blind hexes from the level two smoke. Uh, yeah, you'll, you'll fire. That's fine. All right, let's move him to here. And we'll do it to hit roll. All right, that's going to be right, but it's going to be a miss. Is it? Uh, we had a total of plus two, minus one would be a net plus one, and a base number for the mortar is always going to be an eight, but that gets modified to a seven. 
So plus one would mean that is a miss. However, it does maintain rate. Now, if I continue to move, wait, that was non-assault as well. That would be a hit. I did say I was using non-assault. Um, all right, so you're going to have another sh uh, No, wait. So seven would hit. It would cancel out the modifiers, which means I need this on the six. Five on the six is a one check. All right, Italian, you must make this. You fail. Now, they have a three ELR, I believe. Or is that a... Yes, they have a three ELR. So you're going to be... Hard and broken. All right, and you still have another shot to take. And with that is going to be a two resid in that location. Uh, all right, you, what are you going to do? You're going to go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so that would be on the four table with a plus one minus two would be a net minus one on the four Yeah, let's do that. All right, where's the, first of all, let's get this in place because I'm already forgetting how much I've just spent. All right, so you're moving one move factor. You're going to fire your medium with on the four table with a net minus one. So six on the four is a MC. Yeah. Come on, Italians. Yes, yeah, six. Uh, so you're fine. And no rate. So you're done. I could fire the mortar now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen hexes. Uh, yes, you have rate, so you're going to fire. 18 hexes away, and we are looking at a base 5 uh, muzzle velocity. And wrong, it's a mortar, so it would be a base 8. The uh, muzzle velocity brings it down to a 7, plus 2 for missed, minus 2 for moving it open, and on assault means I need a 7 or less to hit. Right, no hits, and you've acquired once. All right, is there anything else that wants to shoot at me? Uh, that would be a nice long-range shot. I'm worried about clipping the smoke, so you're not going to do that. What is your plan anyways? You're going to come around this way. All right, so that's one. This is two. And I have to decide, do I do that guy there? I may as well. Let's drop a mortar on you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So we said twelve to here, so that's gonna be one, two, three, four. Uh down to one, two. So it's not gonna be any blind hex. You're gonna be firing at unit in open. So uh You're going to be uh, base 8, comes down to a 7, minus 2, plus 2 cancel. So you'll need a 7 or less to hit. All right, so you miss, and you do not have rate. All righty. 
Uh, that's two. So let's go here for four. All right. Now you, uh, you have to get out of the way. So let's start with you first. You're going to go one, two, three, four, I was thinking the late CX, but I don't think that's going to be advisable. Now, you guys, however, uh, four portage points. Yeah, we have a leader, so you can move up to six. So let's go one. Two. Three. Four. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I would be six away. Right now I'm protected by that smoke for um, another fire phase. So I think I'm going to stop there. I think I failed to move. No, I did move you. Um, all right. Now I got to move you. So you're going to come here for one. Again, I don't think anything can shoot you. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, uh, four. One, two, three, four, five. I should probably not do that. Uh, stay spread out. Uh, let's go back. One, two, three, four, five will put me into Q9. All right, and then we have you. So you're going to go one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. No, you come to here. Now you guys are going to go two, four, six. All right, so now we're into the German entering the minefields. So uh, how are we going to do this? You're going to be a snake eyes. If I put you in, that would be a combined minus one. So you guys are going to jump into here as well there. That means you're going to have a trail break from that direction. And that direction. All right, you're going to become TI, and you need to make your roll. At the end of the close combat phase, uh, you here are going to be at a base of zero. Plus, oh, no, wait. Um, no, you had nothing for the base. That'll be one, two for the sap or half squads, and further minus one. So you're going to need a five or less to clear these mines. All right, so you're going to salt move into there. Uh, so you'll be TI as well. And you will also have a trail break. Uh, you guys as well, eh? So let's go into here. You're going to be at a total of minus one, I think, for the half squad. 
um, for the squad. All right. I hope I make some of these rolls. It's going to get dicey. And once more, we have a trail break. All right, so uh, you know the drill. I just need that smoke to hold a little bit longer. I have broken the two or the three half squads that were uh, bugging me. So those guys are now gone. However, I do have a 75 that's probably going to make mince meat of, well, of me. Uh, where else are we? So we want to move you guys into there. That's going to be a total of minus one, two, three, if I move you guys in. No, he's an eight zero, so he's not going to impact. So um, you're going to come into the wreck here. All right, so that's fine. We'll give you a TI. We'll have to put on two trail breaks, one from here. And the other one from that direction. All right, and then you guys will come into here. All right, that is uh, very precarious because I'm going to be facing a lot of shots and they're going to get a minus two because of uh, being stuck in a minefield. Now, I do have you. To oh, I got to move my armor as well. Eh? And there's also you. Um, all right, let's move you first. So you're going to go one, uh, three, four. One, one, three. How the hell do I get out of here? I have to stay away from the broken ground because it is bog terrain for the armor. All right, so you're already in motion. So you're going to come here for... That should be uh, four... I believe a gully four vehicle is two to enter, which would be doubled, right? Two plus cost of terrain BBR. So that would only be three move. Two plus cost of terrain. So if, uh, you'll go here for three, six. Um, nine. Turn for ten. Uh, you'll have to stop there because you don't have enough move. You'll stay in motion with some delay. Yeah. All right. Now you, I could come up to here facing this way. So when the smoke disappears, I might be in position to start hammering those guys. Uh, so I have to come to here. So you're going to go one, four, uh, five, eight, eleven, twelve. And you'll stay in motion. You are going to go uh, four. That would be seven, eight, um, ten. Flip over one for eleven, and you'll have to stop there, expending delay as well. 
All right, so we're getting out of the way slowly. Now we have you guys here. Um, all right, let's start with you. You're the one that's probably going to make it the most. So this is going to be a total of four move. No, it's higher level, so it should be five plus cost of terrain. So that should be six. Uh, that would be oh and a half because it's that would be six and a half wrong. It would be yeah, six and a half. So that would be seven eight. Um. What is brush? Two. Two is not bog terrain. Okay, so that's going to be, uh, we said eight. That would be ten. Twelve and you'll stay in motion. Uh, all right, here. So you're gonna go for one. Then it's gonna be up this way for another six and a half. Will be seven and a half. Eight and a half. That would be nine, ten. Eleven, twelve. So you'll be in motion, and you're going to go hatches down, because it's probably going to start getting crazy up there. Uh, you are going to go into the wadi. That's going to cost you uh, two double is four plus a half. It's four and a half. Then you're going to pop out for another six and a half would be five eleven. So you're going to have to stop there in motion. All right, and I believe that is it. I do have another martyr here, but I don't think I'm going to move him. Although this is worrisome. And I do have to deal with the grant back there at some point. So maybe I'll move him. Uh, yeah, let's move him. All right, so uh, we're going to start up for one. Pivot for two. You're going to pay three and a half. This would be five. This would be um, six and a half. Seven, eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And you're going to stop there for twelve. All right. Now that is enough of the move. Um, any defensive fire we do have Russian or excuse me American OBA so let's do a radio contact which uh, that's a good use for snake eyes from the German perspective um, all right first of all let's get rid of the resid now uh, you do have contact however nobody's inside your blast radius you're gonna move it three hexes and then convert so you're gonna move it to L9 and convert to an FFE1. All right, so we need to bring in our AAR. Roll for accuracy. Now it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, which means there's going to be a plus 1 for mist. And the uh, American accuracy is always going to be a 2. So. I'll need a one for it to be accurate. It is not accurate and it can only be off one hex. All right, so goes in direction four. Uh, I should have specified, but I was going to do a harassing fire just because it's a two hex radius. These are Italians, which are rather weak. So let's go two hexes and we'll flip it over to one of those. Uh, let's make it blue. 
so we know the difference, All right? All right, so we have a six firepower um, because it's always down to one third, and our 100 is on the 20. A third of 20 would be six and change. So it's gonna be on the six column, no modifier for any units inside it. So the first things first is L9, um, and there is no chance of shell holes. So we need on the six column uh, flat rate. So Jesus. All right, well, that's a critical. Um, so it's not gonna be on the 12. And that gives us a one KIA. So this dude is gone. All right, we'll give him uh, two points for that. Well done. Uh, we also have a broken unit here. I would love to know what happened with Vassal where when it comes to overlays, it does not like it when you put them on top of unit. You cannot grab it. You have to do what I just did there. All right, so uh, let's repeat that. So we have a six, no cowering for OBA. A six on the six is a one track, which is enough to cause a half squad. All right, so you're up to three. Uh, nothing in the inner ring. Now we go to the outer ring. So you here are going to um, take a, another shot. Six on the six is also a one track. So you need a one track, uh, which is enough to pin you. I guess all things being equal, it's not too bad. Nothing here. Now you are going to be also affected. It would be nice if it was not a six. That is one, two, three, four, five sixes in a row if anybody's counting. Um, including three sets of doubles. Uh, one check. One check for the 8-1. All right, so you're just broken. Now you are broken, and uh, therefore you don't need to take your task check. Um, that was a 9. 3 morale would bring it down to a 6. Up 3 would be a 9, so you're not ELR, you're just that. And then finally we have these units here. Wow, finally a not six number. All right, and then we uh, convert this to an FFE to All right, so we have a harassing fire, six firepower, OBA that's just decimated the Italians. Wow. Uh, other shooting. Now, mortars are done. You guys have no target. I do have a 50 cal here. I could fire at here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12. Would be on the 8. Plus 1, minus 1 for mist. Um, broken ground, I believe, gives a plus 1 on the 8 table. Uh, six on the eight is a one check for you. Now that is a break, not ELR'd. And I do have rates, so once more. That's gonna suck. That's gonna be a four on the eight, which is a two check now. And once more we have rates. Uh, all right, so my little Italians are slowly dwindling.
Um, uh, I guess I may as well fire one more time. Put them out of their misery. That is going to be the last shot anyways. That's a paying task check. So it's going to be no effect. All right, so you're done. Uh, your gun broke. You, oh, I never fixed that in the last phase. Oh, shit. Okay, this should have happened at the beginning of the rally phase, so I failed to do it. Doing it now, and I've just disabled it, which means you're going to be under recall. Um... Great. Now, you could fire on 1, 2, 3, 4. You would be halved with a plus. No, you can't even see. Can't see, can't see, cannot see. Well, you could fire on here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 1 for the wreck, 2 for the mist, um, 3 for the gun shield on the 4 table. All right, so that's it for you. Wow, Americans are not hitting shit. Uh, you're pinned, so you can't fire. I think you can still assemble, though. Can you assemble weapons while you're pinned? Or does it only impact shooting? Uh, yeah, you can still fire, so uh, there is no reason why you couldn't assemble that. So you're going to assemble your 50 cal, even though you're pinned. Now, that's that. Uh, I had another one over here. Um, all right, so you'll assemble that. Now, um, I do have to be cognizant of the fact that this is a wreck in a burnable terrain so i'm going to have to move out of there before this passes to the local terrain which i must do in the advancing fire um hopefully i remember to do that all right so we have other firing still uh the grant here can't do anything yet you cannot do anything yet um nor you you are on a level three hill, so you would be above the smoke. Um, you can hit an Italian tank, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen. So it would be blind hex. One, two, three, minus one for the level. So this would not be blind hexes now you have no special ammo so you could just fire ap which you're going to attempt so 17 to hit uh 17 range is a base seven uh we are normal size however you are in motion so that's going to be a plus two So already we have a base 7 plus 2 for being in motion is going to be a 5 or less. And we also add another 2 for miss, so it's going to be a 3 or less to hit. 3 or less to hit. Wow. All right, so... 
Uh, he's in motion, so I. Yeah, I think I can still acquire. Uh, no fire from you. You guys cannot do any firing, nor can you. Um, that leaves you here. Now, I have a choice. Do I shoot at the units in the minefield? However, they're covered by a wreck, and I might clip the smoke. Or do I get rid of the 88? I think I get rid of the 88 first, and then I fire at these guys. Um... Yeah, let's do that. All right, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 hex range gives us a base 7. Um, 2 for missed. Uh, minus 1 for large target size is a plus 1. Acquired will bring it down to a net 0. And it is a base 75, so there's no weapon change. And so we're looking at a 5 or less to hit. Uh, that is a miss. So you're acquired twice, which I guess is a good result, but I really got to get rid of that, that tank. Uh, all right. Now that is it for defending fire. Let's do advancing fire. And um, we'll start with drifting smoke. Now HE won't give off smoke. You here will have a chance of spreading to the burnable terrain based on that roll. Now uh, what is brush? We have a kindling. Uh, spread of six. Now EC is wet, which is a minus two. So that brings that six up to an eight. So it is not spread to the local train yet. Yeah, so it's not going to spread to the uh, inherent terrain. However, it's going to give off to smoke. You guys have to move out of that hex. Um, what other smoke do I have? Now I have laid fresh smoke here. So we have to add more gray smoke this is going to get painful all right so one two three okay uh you'll be here you'll be here you'll be here I cannot imagine doing this in uh, with real counters. Oh, I fucked up that one. All right, so that's the way it should be. So you, you, and you would actually be in that location. There you go. All right, and then we need to do. One more. So there should be, yes, one, two, three. Yeah, okay, so I think we're good. All that to say is nobody can see shit. This is completely blocked off, which is exactly what I wanted to do. All right, that's it for the advancing fire smoke and fire generation. Now do we have any shooting that we want to worry about? Uh, Italians are completely decimated. I do have you. That would be on the two table up two. All right, all right. So five on the two, I'm liking that. I'm liking that should be an NMC. Five on the two is an NMC. <laughs> and you broke 
the American. Now, uh, base morale is six. They have an ELR of three. So it's just going to be broken, which is phenomenal. Um, American Sniper, we have a two. It's going to go five for five. Where are, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, man. One, two, three, four. So it's going to land on you, and it's going to pin the crew, which is, I guess, better than breaking it. Um, that was amazing clutch play there. Uh, that would be on the one, not worth it. Actually, it wouldn't even be that. It'd be like on the half. Everything here is broken that I thought was going to be able to position, and it is not. Now you guys, one, two, three, four, nothing is within range. I could fire at the broken unit here. They fired. They should have been marked with a prep fire. Oh, no, they moved. That's right, they moved. Um, all right. Uh, looks like we don't have any fire. I do have you, however, so let's try a shot at FF3. Uh, five, I should say. And we have... Uh... Man, I hate doing that. All right, let's put a German acquisition on you. I'll use you to see if I clip the smoke, which I do not. Okay. Um, now, you've done a whole lot of movement, so this is not going to hit. Um, but I will acquire you once, which is the important thing. All right, now let's go to row phase and attacker first. All righty, so what is broken? Everything basically on the Italian side. Um, you are in open ground. Oh, I should have... No, that comes off in... Um... Yeah, that's already done. You're not considered open ground because of the normal range. Of the weapon, although 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 12, 11, blind hex, blind hex, blind hex, down one. So you would actually be, oh, plus one for the, uh, the um, harassing f fire. So you're actually not going to have to move. You can move oh. you're gonna move this way and you're gonna have to drop your medium now that would be line of sight so you're gonna have to low crawl one two three four five six um One, two, three, four. That's right. You are. You don't have a weapon. So you can keep going. So you're going to go one, two, three. Uh, I have to do. No, I'd have to stop because of the mortar. The mortar could do interdiction. So if I low crawl one hex, that would be fine. Uh, you're going to stay. You're in broken ground, which is not open terrain, so you could stay where you are. Not to mention, you do have minefields behind you. Uh, so that's going to be it for the Axis. Let's do the uh, Americans. So where are you going to go? 
Um, so that would be two, uh, one to exit the foxhole, three. No, you would pay that to go directly in, so that would be two. Um, that would be five, so you have to stop there. You are going to go, uh, that would be three, five. Yeah, he'll have to stop there. And you. Now, um, you would be forced to surrender because you could not uh, move without using low crawl and you're adjacent to a good order unit. So if I... I have to accept it because this is desert rules. And um, I believe, unless when broken ground's in effect, it may not apply. Uh, let's look at chapter E for a sec, or uh, F. Yeah, surrender may not be refused, so I will have to accept the um, the American unit. Now, if you look at broken terrain, however, F.1A, F.1C, and 11.8 don't apply routing. You place guns, routing. And then we also have 11.8, which is mud. All right, so uh, all that to say that uh, I'm, I'm just captured them. Well, that's great. Now that is a full squad. So I will take you. And you, my friend, are prisoners. Let's put you on top so we know. All right, so we have uh, we have our first prisoners. Vera, 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 massa. All right, now we can go to the advanced phase. And what is not broken? Uh, right now I'm at a plus one. If I move into this location, I would get a plus two, but I would be closer to that. Not that it would matter. That's still gonna be eight firepower coming back at me. Oh, it's only a one squad, so I would not be able to move in anyways. I could retreat back into the smoke, which would protect me until my next phase, after which it disappears. Do I want to do that? Um, you guys are going to advance into there for three. You'll stay where you are. You guys will come up one for that. Let's get away from the American fire. Uh, all right, you're going to go around the minefield, as are you. But you here are going to move up here. You guys are going to hang out underneath the Italian tank. And you guys here, which I think I forgot to move, are going to go there. 
All right, so that is the advance. Now we do close combat, and I must make my die rolls to see if I can make a minefield clearance attempt. Now that means that I need to get a modified snake eyes and Um, so we have a clearance attempt by one squad as a minus one, each additional half squad, and minus one for each sapper half squad. So first guy up is here. So this is going to be minus one with a minus three total. So I need a five or less. All right, so no joy, and I get, so this will come off, and I get replace it with a labor counter as they continue to toil away. Uh, this location here, we have minus one, minus three, minus five, and one more for a total of minus six. So I need an eight or less. Oh, fuck. All right, so this TI is gone, and we have a labor counter. I mean, seriously? Uh, here we have a minus one, minus three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have a minus eight. All right, so we do have, uh, we have cleared a lane forward. Did I do that correct? Yes, every market trail bag counter across any two hex sides of the attacker's choice. So the important one here was the road, which now means that all my reinforcements can travel through here, um, which is great news. So this comes off uh, at the end of the turn. Uh, in this location, we have a minus one, we have a minus three, four, five, six, seven, a minus seven, uh, which is going to give it a one, which means we also have a break there. So let's use you, and uh, we'll shape it like that. All right, and um, then lastly here, this is going to be minus one, and that is unfortunately all that they're going to do. So, uh, yeah, all right, so that's gone, and you get a labor counter. That is the German turn two. And that took an hour and 40 minutes to play. All right, so let's go to the American turn to start off with a wind change. Uh, any counters that have to come off? Pins? All right, so uh, American wind change. We have a three now. Normally that would be interrogation, but we're not playing with that, so it's not effective. And we go right into rallies. Now, we do have an engineer up here, but I think this guy is more valid. He's going to need a six or less. This guy would need uh, eight or less. Let's go six or less for this guy. Nope. And um, these DMs could come off because they're not an open ground. Yeah, you had to be under recall, so you're gone. Now, we have the, the access power, so you'll stay there. Um, you have a leader here, so it's going to be a 7. 
Uh, you have to keep your DM because you're within. No, you're not within normal range. You'll keep it anyways. Um, you're not going to make it, so you're just going to hang out. Uh, I think that is it. Here's a coax we got to fix. That's going the wrong way. And I believe that is it. So we have that it for the uh, rally phase. Do I want to assemble? Uh, you guys got to move. You guys just got the weapon, so you're going. You're not in the same location, I don't think. Um, but you're going to stay separate anyways, just because I have spotted with that 50 cal would be better. Yeah. Yeah, let's go to the American uh, prep fire. All right. Um, we we'll start with uh, their FFE. So we have to maintain contact, which we do. Uh, we already have access. Now I could drop this in place or I could adjust it. If I come to 1, 2, 3, I could drop it in 0, 010. It would deviate 1 possibly and it would come into this area. Which I think is what I'm going to do. So let's bring in the AR. 1, 2, 3. Now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So it's going to be blind hex, blind hex, blind hex, minus 2, 1, 2. So you're going to be uh, not obscured. However, it's going to be a plus 2 for the mist. No, plus 1 for the mist. Which means you're going to need a 1 to be accurate. All right, so you're not accurate. And where does it land? It goes in direction 2. So this way. All right, so you are going to come this way. We'll flip that now before I forget. And we'll do a 6 flat into that location. Nine on the six is a miss. Uh, unreal. All right, so you're good. Next up, we have a broken unit here. All right, so seven on the six is an NMC, and you make it. So you are just going to be DM'd. Uh, you would get actually a plus one. Now, in this location, let's go the 347 first. Six on the six is a one check. All right, so you're broken. Uh, nothing here. Get rid of that. That's the inside ring. Now we go to the outside ring. Uh, no chance of destroying mines. It's just too weak. Uh, so this location here. We have a 9. No effect. Uh, outside ring is clean except for this guy here. What does he get? He gets a 6, which is a 1 check. All right. 1 check for you. Uh... Yeah, your normal terrain, open ground. All right, so one check would be a six, up three is a nine, so you're going to be ELR'd and a broken. And then it's flipped over to FFEC. All right, and we can uh, mark ES fired. Now let's do other shoe sting. You're moving. I could fire or I could move. I think I'm going to fire. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you're going to be plus one for the wreck, two for the mist, and three for the gun shield. Uh, wait, gun shield is plus
Yeah, plus two. All right, so it's a total of plus four on the four. That's going to be a waste. So I think I'm going to move you instead. No, wait, that'll be on the six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you'll be halved, which will put you on the six column with a plus four. Uh, eight on the six is a pinning task check. Oh, wait, that cowers. So you're done. Um, great. Uh, you're moving. You will be paying plus. No, you can't see because of the credit cra cra block line of sight. So you could fire on this guy here. That would be a two up. Uh, three. No. You're going to move. Uh, let me use the solitaire move so I don't forget. All right, you're going to move. You have to move. Uh, I do have a 50 cal here. Where'd the smoke go? Oh, I didn't put any smoke down. I forgot to put the smoke down. This should have come down in um, my last advancing fire phase. All right, so uh, yeah, definitely going to move. You don't have a target, but all the Italians are coming this way. Do you move or do you stay? I think you're going to stay. You do have a shot. You would have to take out your own prisoners. One, two, three, four, five, six. So plus one for the Craig. One for the leadership would cancel, and you have a chance of killing your own guys. I do not like that. I could fire at you. That would be a plus two on the eight table. Let's do that. We'll do here to here, eight up two. Yeah, all right. That was interesting. Uh, you're going to hang out. You guys are going to continue your moves. You have acquired this target here. Um, oh, I was supposed to button you guys up. I forgot. Uh, you're going to fire on to this guy here all right now you are going to be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen hexes away so it's going to be plus three for mist would be a four or less to hit that is a hit and rate on the six, we have a seven on the six is an NMC, nine one, uh, fine, and I need an A for this guy. He is fine as well. All right, so I got rate. Let's go again. This time I need a five or less. No rate and no hit. So you're done, but you've acquired twice. Uh, you guys here, I think I'm just going to hang out and wait. Nothing I can really do. The Italians are, I think, effectively neutralized. Um, I could move you to this way to support. Maybe that's the move. Uh, smoke would block a lot of shots. Three portage points. You can actually go six. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six into the wadi. Then you can work your way up to the top of the hill. I think that's what you're going to do. So you're going to move uh, this location here. I think you have to stay. You're going to fire this location. One, two, three, four. So that's going to be on the eight. Up one. Five on the eight. No rate is a one check. 
Uh, two check. Two check for you. Uh, let's go to the squad first. Uh, broken. Let's go with the prisoners. Uh, they're reduced by half. Um, hmm. <laughs> now that means actually they don't count till you know I get them immediately for the capture. So I believe I should be at Oh yeah, that's because it's not tracking that. Uh, we'll figure that out at the end. All right, so um, as a matter of fact, I gotta switch those vehicles. So let me clone this. Let me get rid of two of you. No. I want to get rid of one of you. I've destroyed one, two half tracks, one grant. All right, so you. All right, now let me let me do this properly. Apologies for this. This is a bit confusing. Uh, desert um, victory points, just if you're not aware, are worth more than standard. So uh, the grant is actually worth seven. The half tracks are worth five each. Uh, and there was no crew survival for either of them. So it's going to be, um, I have to adjust the, the values. So CVP is now seven. You guys are fives. That should be a five. All right, now I'll reset this. Now I will add you back to the axis. All right, so there we go, 17. Uh, all right, so I have the Rex now. I got two for the prisoners. However, they killed off one, so um, I only get one victory point for that half squad prisoner now uh, I did not have rate I don't believe um, so I cannot fire again all right here what am I gonna do with you let's put you on the same location Uh, you're going to be at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 hexes. So you're going to be at a plus 3, which means you need a 4 less to hit. Rate, so now you need a 5 or less. Rate and a hit. So let's flip that. On the 6, we have an 8, which is a pinning task check. So we have the uh, leader. He's pinned, and a 347 is pinned as well. Interesting. All right, let's fire again. Uh, last shot and a hit, and we have a six. On the six is going to be a one check. So you are fine. The 347 is fine. All right, there we go. Mortars are all done. Let's move on down the line. Um, you guys are going to move in to the foxhole. Do I want to do that or do I want to move somewhere else? 
I could move into this crag. That would be two. Uh, excuse me, four. I'd have to wait till next turn. Uh, all right, for starters, you are going to reoccupy your vehicle. So you're no longer abandoned. Now, um, you guys, if I move, I'm going to get shot. If I move into this crag, that would cost me to move it would not it would be a minimum move no it wouldn't I can move I can move two move no I can only move one move because I'm a five portage point weapon so that would have to be a minimum move which would CX me so I think I'm going to jump into the foxhole And we'll recombine in the next rally phase. Uh, why am I doing movement? I need to do shooting. All right. Uh, back to you. 50 cal. You're going to wait and see what happens down here. You're a mobile, so you can't do shit. Um, you guys are all just going to wait. Now, you do have a target. So you're going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 hexes away. And um, 17 hexes, eh? Now that's going to give me a base 7. Not an L weapon or a starred weapon. So there's not going to be any modification. So it's going to be a base 7. We're going to have two for missed, four for being in motion, and acquired once brings it down to a plus three. So I need a four less to hit. That is not rate, and it is a miss. So you get hit twice, and you get marked for the prep. You, just going to hang out. You guys are fine. And then we will, um, actually they would have been concealed at the last turn you're gonna hang out and wait uh you're gonna wait you guys are gonna move because there's a wreck blaze that's probably gonna be moving onto your territory that guy means i gotta move now i can't afford to wait and then we have our old friend here who is acquired and bogged so i think i'm gonna shoot before this thing pivots Who's acquired me? That martyr and that martyr. Um, if I start up, I might have a chance of living. If I expend a motion, a start point, I'm not considered in motion. So you're probably looking at a plus one because of the dust. Target size would be a plus two. No, what am I saying? It would be um, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. All right. Now, if I fire, I'm using red numbers. I need a five. We're at a plus two for missed. Minus one for target size is a plus one. Minus two for acquisition brings it down to a minus one, meaning I need a six or less to hit. If I hit, I have a good chance of killing the crew. If I decide to move, then I'm going to get shot by two martyrs, which will probably be the end of me. Uh, if I wait for them to fire in the defensive fire phase, it's probably going to be the end of me. So I think I have to gain motion status. 
So let's do that and we will try and unbog. So you're going to start up for one and you're going to try and unbog. Before you do that, you're going to get shot. So you, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And you're going to be hitting this wreck here. So, uh, plus one. Target size is plus two. And acquired, um, acquired once will bring it up to a plus one. Oh, and I forgot missed. So it's going to be a plus three. Uh, plus three. So I need a five or less to hit. That is a hit in the hall. So because it's all down, it is no effect. So you've acquired twice. Now you here. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 hexes away. Jesus. 1, 2, plus 3 for missed. Uh, 4 for target size. And acquired twice is a net plus 2. Now our base to kill is going to be modified by our L. So I need a five or less in order to hit. That is not a hit. All right, so I lived. I've started up, now I have to unbog. Uh, let's get rid of that. And I must unbog. Uh, so it's colored die times the white die, which is going to be three movement points to unbog. So that's three, and then we do um, that would be five and a half with another bog check. Now you're parked, so you should be able to track it. Oops. All right, let's do a bog check. Uh, that should be fine. And uh, once more, you'll be in the hold down status. I'll just use the marker to indicate that right now. And you have first fired. Now, I could intensifier. That would be wreck. That would be smoke. What about you? Uh, I do have you. So... Uh, first of all, let me flip this to the move like I should have been. Um, let's let's switch fire onto you. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 hexes away is going to be a base 8. We have target size. Uh, first of all, the base to kill number is an 8, and it goes up for 1 to a base 9. Now we modify that with a plus 1 for target size, plus 3 for moving, that should be it, plus 3. So plus 3 from 9 is a 6 or less to hit. Uh, I do have rate, and I did hit the turret, so less is important. Okay, this thing is gone. Now, a 88 long gives me a kill number of 20. We are 13 hexes away, no modifiers, so yeah, anything but a 12. Uh, 10. 10 will not be a flame. Bullet. Uh, turret is up armored 1, so that would bring it down to a 19. Uh, it is not a blaze, so it is just a wreck. Do we have crew survival? We have a four. Yeah, we got a crew. All right, so you're going to be worth five. 
However, you've crew survived. So you're going to be actually a three. And we have an American crew. Let's get rid of these now. We'll keep them just in case. Uh, we don't need any more. And we'll actually put you guys beneath the vehicle. Um, I did have rates, so I could fire at the crew again. Or I could fire at something else. I gotta wait, though. So uh, let me put this here for now to indicate that I have fire once, but I have rate. All right, other moves. So let's start from the left and we'll go to the right. Now you guys, what is your plan? Your plan is to go up the hill. No, you're going to come this way. Let's start with you. So you're going to go two, four, you go two, four. Uh, here, you're going to lose that. I don't think I'll be able to shoot, so I'm just going to move. Uh, one out of the foxhole. No, you don't do that when you move. So this will be two. No, you do. That'll be, um, one, two, three, four, five. You're going to have to run off the edge. So you're going to start off for one. Do you stall your engine? You do not. Uh, one, two, three. What is a half track for movement? Uh, we are at one with an extra half because of the mud conditions. So that was one, two. Where's my counter? Uh, let's go one, two, start for one, turn for two, three, that would be four and a half, six, nine, turn for 10, would be 16. Sixteen, and you only got three move left, so uh, you're going to have to stop there. You will not be able to quite enter the, uh, but you will stay in motion. All right. All right, so uh, other moves that we want to do, you're going to hang out. You guys occupy the trench, that's fine. Uh, over here, we got no movements except for you guys. All right, so um, we got a 50 cal, which means you've only got two, uh, one move. So you're going to have to move this way, CXing, because you don't have enough move. You're going to come this way for two. And you guys are going to come here. Oh, you don't even have a leader. Oh, that was dumb. I made an oopsie. Oh, man. I made an oopsie. I was supposed to have a leader when those guys um, split up so that I could recombine them. Does that mean I move you or do I bring you this way? Uh, you guys are actually going to move into the smoke. So it's going to be two for the broken ground and then one for the smoke. Um, that would be three. I could move to CC1, but I'm just going to hang out there. I'll advance into this hex later, and then I'll be closer to this guy. You guys are just going to have to hang out and wait for a while. 
All right, let's go to the defensive fire phase. And do we have anything to shoot? We're going to drop more smoke so it gets flipped. Um, I could fire a two... Can't use the leadership, so we'll be two up two, three because of the miss. So you're not going to fire. Uh, you. All right. So I'm acquired twice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plus one for the miss, two for the wreck, three for the Craig. Uh, acquired twice, so that will be a net plus one. And that should mean I need a. Uh, Five or less. Five or less to hit. That is a hit. American Sniper. So on the four table, we have a six on the four, which is a NMC. Six on the four is an NMC. All right, so you get an NMC. Heat of Battle. All righty then. So your second line, your American... And I don't think that means anything. Snope. So you're hero created and you're battle hardened. Right. So battle harden you. You're now triple six. Give you a hero. Because that's what we need. And I do a sniper check. All right. No sniper. Um, my to hit roll was a three. So I do have rate. I could fire again. That's no hit. What about you? You're firing here. You've acquired twice, which gets rid of the shell hole. So it's just the mist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So we are going to be at a plus two for mist. Um <clears throat> from seven. So I need a oh that's modified to an eight. So six or less. Six or less to hit. That is a hit, no rate, and um, that will be on the 12. Fuck, really? All right, uh, what about you? Uh, you're going to fire on the same targets. Let me clone you, flip you to a number one, and we will link... So you too will need um not that. Next up, tanks in motion will stay in motion. I do have a mortar who's gonna be paying two for the smoke. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. One for the uh, 20. What is it? 20. That will be plus 3. Smoke is plus 5. And the template is going to be a plus 6. I cannot see. Ugh. I can't see any target. I could fire on you. Let's fire on you. All right, so I missed the smoke. It's still going to be uh, plus three for the mist, which means I need a four or less to hit. All right. Okay. Uh, I think that's it for, uh, oh wait, I have you as well. All right, so I could do a second shot on to you. 
So let's fire onto you. All right, now you are at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 hexes, which is a base 8. Uh, comes up to a 9 because of the weapon. And we're looking at plus 2 for mist. 2 for the foxhole is a plus 4. From 9 is a 5 or less to hit. Now... All right, so I've acquired months. Now we can go to advancing fire. Now we could spread some blaze. Now we only have the one here, which could spread to the terrain, which it does. So we'll get rid of this, get rid of that. Now you're a blaze. Uh, yeah, so you have two to smoke. Um, you never fired any other smoke, so it should be it for advancing fire. Everything else here is moved or unable to shoot. So we'll go right to route phase. See what's broken. A lot in the center. Uh, is it prep? Def. All right, so we got some Italians that are broken. You're going to come back to here. You're going to continue to low crawl one hex. You guys will low crawl one hex. I cannot move you because you're in the middle of a blast. You guys... can go in this way and you'd have to stop because you're within um, normal range of or no wait uh, how does that work again let's go to F chapter F routing Uh, I guess not. All right. So that's fine. Fine, fine. You're good here. You guys are good here. And everything else is good. Great. So let's go to American Advance Phase. You guys are going to hang out in there. You're going to come here. Uh, what do I do with you guys? Let's come to here. Yeah, we'll go there. Uh, all right, so we have you guys. Let's put you here. You guys will take up occupation of the foxhole. You'll come here, you'll come there. You guys are good. Uh, you guys are good here. Let's get rid of that. Uh, you guys are going to move. And you guys will occupy the what position there. You guys are fine. I'm not going to move you. You guys should probably keep moving. Now, you've only got one move, so you can't. Now, you can go here. You guys can come here.
Yep. All right. And close combat. We have none, and we're into the German turn three. And that's where I'm going to call it for today. Um, Germans are making some good progress right now. Uh, 18 to 4 is a DVP count. Uh, Italians really got hammered with this harassing fire OBA. Uh, really good use of harassing fire for low morale troops. Um, if you can get a lot of them, bigger coverage. And again, low morale. So chances are you're probably going to break them rather well. Uh, Germans are in the minefield and I actually have managed a couple of breaches. Uh, one, two, and um, that's it. Uh, I managed two breaches through the wire or a minefield, including the all important one that's on the road, so that my turn five reinforcements can just truck through. Now, my next step is I must eradicate this. Um, so, I'm going to change my FFE. I'm going to start dropping HE into. Um, into these locations here. And I have to get a vehicle within five hexes of Y10 because then the American will lose battery access and then I'll have to stop worrying about this. This is going to be a pain in the ass. But uh, we'll see that what that happens in the next turn. So hopefully you guys have been enjoying this. Um, like I said, Dave and I, were we gave this two goes before, inconclusive, except for the one where I conceded. So it's going to be interesting to see how this actually plays out to the end. Uh, 